How y'all doing? I'm back in one of my old stopping grounds. Down on the harbor, Fells Point, Baltimore, Maryland. Checking out a beautiful spring day. Yeah, the weather finally cleared up. No more rain and a uh, beautiful day to be down on the water. So, I gotta show y'all one of my old stopping grounds. This video is called The Real Fells Point. The Old Fells Point. Back at one of my old stomping grounds, the Cat's Eye Pub. This is the place. The old classic bar, blues bar, Fells Point. This is where you gotta get to when you come to Fells Point, right here. The local joint been here forever. Some of the other old bars are gone. Classic old bar, bars. But some of them survived. We're going in here. Used to go in here years ago to see some good blues. Good live music. But today it's looking pretty rocking. Out here. On Team Street. back here in a minute for some live music. First let's take a little walk. Here's one of my old favorite coffee shops. Daily Grind. Cool place. Get a nice cup of coffee. Here we are at the Waterfront Hotel, coming up. It's totally different now, fellas, when they really fixed this area up a lot. And this is the old police station that was in uh, Homicide, Life on the Streets, which they've totally redone it and turned it into a luxury hotel. The rooms I hear are about 350 bucks a night. Probably well worth it though, right on the water. But it's pretty rocking down here today at Old Fells Point. Well, here's the old waterfront hotel, established 1771, still here. Nice architecture. Drank many a Bloody Mary in this place at like 9 a.m. on a Sunday morning. Dollar Bloody Marys they used to have. You stay out all night. Then you crash at your friend's pad. Then you get a Bloody Mary in the morning. Dollar Bloody Marys. Those are the good old days. The drunk old days. Which I don't do much of that anymore. There's Cooper's Tavern. Sorry. Sanche. Another Irish pub. The Admiral fell in. The Admiral Fell founded Fells Point a couple hundred years ago. Now, one of my old 
favorite bars, lead batteries, used to be right here. Uh, it's so sad that it was gone. It was a world-renowned blues bar. Everybody on the East Coast, all the way up to New York, knew about it. And now it is gone. Terrible tragedy. But the Admiral's Cup is, op is open and rocking. Let's go check that out. day to be out near the water. How many houses are Some nice ships over there. And the Domino's Sugar Company across the way. Called the City Pier. It's like they left that sign up there, which is good. The old police station for uh, homicide. Brown's Wharf, good place to eat. going on. I'm now, in, now inside the I'm now inside the luxury hotel which used to be the pier and the um, police station for a homicide. There is the before and after photos. Oh, very decadent. This is something else. Very impressive. This is just a dirty old wharf warehouse pier. Oh my lord. This is just 
very decadent. Very nice. giant Trojan horse thing pretty cool in here very nice first time here since they built it two three years ago Wow that's a hell of a painting very cool lounge nice place wow, wow that's pretty cool Back at the Cat's Eye Pub. i to head in there and get a beverage. See some live music. But I'm that dirty water. Oh, Baltimore, you're my. That way, catch eye again. Be heading over there, getting that beverage. Inside the waterfront yeah, hotel. Like this whole thing is so much for crap. I saw a guy on Twitter who lost 70 million dollars. Well, good for him. Yeah. I mean, he had 70 million dollars. Used to, lose. to hang here a lot years ago. Again, the uh, dollar Bloody Marys. <laughs> and they do taste good when you're hungover. Here we go.
these ducks are trying to take a nap. People keep waking them up. There's a, a life preserver, life ring. In case anybody falls in, water right here, the dirty water. Now we're on Broadway. There's a psychic. I need one of them. Pat's the new Alfred. Now the oyster bar used to be right here. I don't know where the hell it is. I actually had an art opening there once. I had all my paintings hanging in there. It's the Abbey Burger Bistro now. That's pretty cool. Full sign. Well, maybe this is it. Rubens. Well, I'll bet you that's it. Board it up. Now this is the old old Fells Point restaurant, but it's actually the diner where the police officers used to meet a lot in the show Homicide Life on the Street. Let's see if it's oh, now it's a bar. That really was the diner where they used to meet. Pretty cool place. There's the old Max is on Broadway, still here, looking pretty good. Now, Fells Point, and Baltimore in particular, back in the early 1800s used to be big with privateers. In other words, pirates. Privateers. Uh, helped the British Navy to attack and steal other enemy ships crossing the Atlantic and they would steal all their, their gold and whatever they had but The British Navy used them regularly to help thwart their enemy, whoever it was at the time, Spain. <clears throat> so, actually, during the War of 18. Well, the privateers were fighting against Britain, and the Britain, Britain, British Navy, Britain called Baltimore a nest of of pirates. So Baltimore was known as a nest of pirates back in the early 1800s. Uh oh, trolley pub run. So, I mean, this is a seafaring town. This is a port you wanted to stop off if you were a pirate. So, I mean, there was a lot of drinking and debauchery going on here. 
for hundreds of years. Wow, now this is all new. The Chop Tank, named after the Chop Tank River, down by Cambridge, Maryland. Wow. Check this out. This is rocking now. All new, totally new. Never seen it before. I've been here for years, never seen that before. Brand new. I haven't been here in a while though. Wow, this is the place to be, man. For the youngsters, the college kids. What a party place. And now we're at the famous Bertha's. They all have outdoor seating now. One thing good about the pandemic is the outdoor seating. Fells Point, the old Fells Point, 200 years old, sailors, pirates, soup of the day and whiskey, baby. Roast your own damn car. The black olive. This little park they got over here now. This is kind of all new. I used to go to this bar a lot, but Bond Street Social, I don't know what that is now. 
Whoa, look at that. Bond Street. Pretty cool. The wharf. Bond Street Wharf. Looking good. Picture of Frederick Douglass right there. And these are called ghost signs. And these were put up in the early 1900s and 1800s. And a lot of them still survive in Baltimore. And someone's writing a whole book about it. They're pretty cool and pretty interesting. Well, now we're going to head over to the Sound Garden, coolest record shop in the world. Over here we got the Fells Point Tavern, some other cool, cool little places to hang. They still sell CDs and vinyl in this world, in this store. That's pretty cool. Very cool. Glad it's still open. Dollar vinyl. Coffee shop. This is kind of new. Uh, I think somebody left their trombone here. Maybe a trombone shorty. Moving to California. Awesome. Now we finally made it back around. To another part of old Fells Point. The real Fells Point. The horse she came in on saloon. Supposedly one of the oldest saloons yeah, no, I know. I continuously open in the United States. Been in there many times. Had a few beers there before. Supposedly this is where Edgar Allan Poe had his last drink and he died stumbling out of this place. They took him to the hospital where he died. But nobody can really confirm that for some reason. But they're saying it's true. There, America's oldest saloon. Established 1775. Yeah, Jack Daniels bar. This is what we need to get arrested tonight. Thanks. Uh, 
Damn, what am I going to do with my horse? <laughs> okay. Okay. You can be in my shot if you want. Who are you? Who are you dressed? Uh, oh, I'm just a fairy. I'm a goth fairy. Oh, really? Was there some kind of event going on tonight? Uh, yeah, down that way. It was uh, Afro Fae Day. Yeah. Really? Awesome. You guys look, you look awesome. You really look awesome. Thanks a lot. See ya. Wow, this place is pretty tripped out. These little saxophones up there. That's pretty neat. Totally digging this this place. Cool. Bunch of colored vinyl. That looks a great display. Very unique architecture here. Very old, 1700s. A seafaring town. Loaded with drunken sailors. And drunk college kids. Hope y'all enjoyed our little trip down to Fells Point. Baltimore, Maryland. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Thanks a lot for checking out my channel. And I'll see you again soon. Please subscribe. Well, isn't that just special?